What's up guys, welcome to my channel. I got a Dodge Caravan here, this is a 2005 model. And it keeps making a chirping sound like a squealing bell. Cheek, cheek, cheek. And if you come to a stop and idle, the noise goes away. As soon as you rev it, the noise comes on. So when you're driving, it's, going, cheek, 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 cheek. it's, it's making it like a chirping, squealing sound. So the problem is, not your belt, but once you do this, I would suggest you do replace your belt. But the problem is, See this alternator? It has a clutch, okay? So if you spin this guy and you hold on to it, you see it spins one way freely. The internal components just keep spinning, okay? And if I go the other way around, it, it grips onto it, okay? So I'm able to spin one way. It's just pretty much a clutch. It has a clutch onto it. And it's a bearing in there that works like a clutch. Uh, it's like one way wiring and uh, it will free play the other way. So. But with the light, uh, light the rotation, it will spin. But if I try to go fast, you will, you can feel it in there. If you pop open this cover right here, this um, you can put like a little tool on it, Allen key, whatever's in there. You should be not able to turn this with that, okay? And uh, if you're able to turn it, it's bad. But most likely, this is what it is. Uh, this car has a brand new alternator. I'm gonna show you guys. But we're replacing this one as well. And you're not gonna see the procedure of me replacing it, but let's take a look inside the vehicle. Let's grab our light. You see that? It's a brand new alternator, it's tripping, and uh, I replaced it, okay? The one I replaced before this, it was tripping, but it's a lot less, but now it's a lot more. I thought it was a belt, I replaced the belt, and it came across. It's an alternator, okay? So I ordered another alternator, so it is uh, not my fault, it's not parts department's fault. It just happens to have a bad alternator. So the first one made noise, but a lot less. Once I replaced it, it was beyond anything. I didn't even have to rev it, and it was tripping. And uh, I'm gonna throw this in. So if you guys having this issue, you might just wanna look into that and uh, take care of this alternator. But like I said, once you have it open, you might as well, sometimes it could be a belt, but um, with the belt, you could spray something like a, um, some type of fluid. Usually I use uh, like a water, or, or Windex works good too, spray Windex on that belt. And um, if the noise changes or goes away, it's most likely your belt there. But if that doesn't happen, and uh, it's most likely you alternate on these, these Dodge car one, this is like the fifth one I had. And uh, and prior to that, uh, other people worked on it. And before that, uh, it was just a bad alternator, but they do tend to go bad. So you might wanna take a look at that. But anyways, thank you for watching guys. If you guys need help, and uh, let me show you a part number. This is Remy, and the brand number is, a um, part number is uh, 12654. That's the part number. If you guys need more information, and a diagram on a belt, so you wanna follow, see this This is different uh, diagram. So if you have So this is the belt, if you need the diagram, this is a 3.3 .3 and a 3.8 liter, it's the same belt. And you can see it right there. And if you have a 2.4 liter, this is the belt. So just go by this routing, and this one has two belts. We have one belt. It goes uh, alternator, AC compressor, around the crankshaft, comes around the tensioner, comes down the water pump, above the power steering, and back around. So what I did was I used a tensioner to pull, and uh, I slipped the belt onto this guy right here. So it will not go here. It will be more difficult, but over here it will go. And make sure you check um, on the alternator. The alternator on the belt is hard. It's, it's not easy to follow here. But anyways, guys, I'm sure you guys can do it. Thank you for watching. That's your belt diagram right in the vehicle. See you guys in the next one.